Hi, welcome to the Autonomous Database Level 100 lesson. My name is Sanjay Narvekar from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Product Management Team and I will be walking you through this lesson today. Here's a quick look at the safe harbor statement. And let's look at the objectives for today's lesson. After completing today's lesson, you'll be able to compare Autonomous Database with the standard database system cloud offerings in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. You'll be able to describe the features of Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, both the serverless and the dedicated offerings, as well as describe the features of Autonomous Transaction Processing, serverless and dedicated. You learn how to deploy, use and manage Autonomous Database. This slide shows you the two kinds of offerings that Oracle Cloud Infrastructure has for Oracle Database customers. One is the traditional automated database services model, wherein customers get to manage their Oracle database, but Oracle uh, incorporates database lifecycle automation into the services. Customers will have DBA and operating system root access, and they can run older database versions like 11G release 2. These automated database services include all database features. And uh, this line of services has uh, exited a cloud service for scalability, performance, and availability, as well as a database cloud service with the virtual machine or bare metal, a single server offering, or you can also cluster virtual machines as a real application clusters. The other service that I'm going to talk about today is the autonomous database service. In this service, all database operations are fully automated. The user runs SQL with no access to operating system or the container database. This service is built on top of the Exadata platform, so they will get Exadata performance and availability. This service can be customizable for data warehouse or transaction processing workload. And uh, in this service, we have two flavors. One is the serverless model, where usability is ultra simple and uh, it is very elastic. The second offering is the dedicated model where uh, customers can build a private cloud on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So let's now look at the use cases for these services that I just talked about. Autonomous database is the world's best fully self-serving database. Oracle builds and operates Exadata infrastructure and databases. The user runs SQL without any access to operating system or the container database. This is pretty useful for customers who want the elasticity of the cloud, uh, customers with the uh, workloads for machine learning, and customers who do not want to spend too much time in tuning the code and uh, can uh, have use cases for instant provisioning. Basically, this supports uh, all kinds of workloads with support for JSON documents, graphs, and more. When it comes to Oracle Database Cloud Services, this is the world's best automated database cloud infrastructure. Oracle builds and operates the infrastructure. The user, however, operates databases using provided lifecycle automation. The user will have full control, including database administration and root access. This is pretty useful for use cases where customers want to have high availability, they want to deploy older version, and want to have all the features of the Oracle database and customers can start off with small workloads and uh, scale up to large databases 
uh, and customer also has uh, the ability to deploy single instance or real application clusters with uh, automated backup patching functionality with uh, full access to uh, the database infrastructure. The next one here is the Exadata, which is the world's best database platform. In this, Oracle will build, optimize, and automate the infrastructure deployment, all in database automation features are included. The customer is responsible for provisioning the databases and managing the databases here as well. As far as use cases go, this is a great place for customers to build a private cloud, either on premise or on Oracle cloud infrastructure. This is per uh, perfect for consolidation use cases where customers have a lot of databases and uh, they are looking to consolidate on one platform. So Exadata works well there. And it's very ideal for uh, highest performance workloads and uh, has a lot of scalability features, which is ideal for mission critical workloads. And the last, uh, section of this slide talks about Oracle database, which is uh, the world's best database, and it can run anywhere. The user builds and operates databases and infrastructure. And uh, this is ideal for customers who have small to big database, transactional, as well as uh, data warehousing workloads. And uh, ideal for customer data center or do it yourself model. Let us now look at the autonomous optimizations, which are part of uh, the autonomous data warehouse and transaction processing. Autonomous data warehouse stores data in the columnar format and uh, creates data summaries to uh, speed up memory joins and uh, aggregates. Whereas autonomous transaction processing stores data in the row format, indexes are created automatically and uh, memory is used for caching to avoid IO. In both these services, statistics are updated in real time while preventing uh, planned regressions. This slide shows you the various cloud deployment models for database on Oracle cloud infrastructure. You can start off with the database as a service, virtual machine or bare metal, or deploy Exadata cloud service on Oracle cloud infrastructure or at the customer site. And then finally, we have the autonomous serverless and autonomous de dedicated offerings. Uh, I won't go through all these slides, but uh, I will just uh, pause on briefly here for you guys to read this before moving on. Let's now look at uh, the different deployment options for autonomous database cloud service. Autonomous database can be deployed in two ways. One is the dedicated and the other one is the serverless model. Dedicated deployment is a deployment choice that enables you to provision autonomous database into their own dedicated Exadata cloud infrastructure instead of a shared infrastructure with other tenants. So basically what this means is customer will log in into the OCI console, provision an Exadata infrastructure, and once this Exadata infrastructure is provisioned, they will create container databases and then deploy the autonomous database, data warehouse or transaction processing dedicated services on top of this dedicated deployment. With serverless deployment, the simplest co configuration, you share the resources of an Exadata cloud infrastructure. You can quickly get started with no minimum commitment, enjoying quick database provisioning and independent scalability of compute and storage. 
and both deployment options are available for autonomous transaction processing and autonomous data warehouse. Now let us dive deeper into the serverless offering. This is a fully managed service. Oracle automates end-to-end -end management of the autonomous database. It manages the provisioning of the new databases, growing, shrinking storage and or compute, patching and upgrades, backup and recovery, etc. So uh, if for customers who are traditionally used to doing all these activities, you know how labor intensive and time consuming these tasks are. Oracle automates all this, so it uh, frees up your time to do other tasks. Customers can use the service console to do full lifecycle management of the uh, service. From uh, launching the service, stopping the service, backing up, restoring, etc. Alternatively, this can also be managed by a command line interface or REST API. Let us now look at automated tuning in autonomous database. When it comes to loading data, customers can just load and go, which means they just define the tables, load data, and then start running queries. Customers don't have to worry about any tuning activities. They don't need any special database expertise to uh, perform this task. They also don't have to worry about creating, managing table spaces, partitioning, compression, in-memory indexes, or a parallel execution. Oracle Autonomous Database gives for as performance out of the box with zero tuning. And we also provide a simple web-based monitoring console for customers to look at the database activity, CPU utilization, running statements, queued statements, etc and it has built-in resource management plans. Autonomous database is fully elastic. Customers can size the database to the exact compute and storage required. They are not constrained by the fixed building blocks and don't have to worry about predefined shapes for spinning up the service. They can scale the database on demand independently, scaling compute or storage. These resizing operations occurs instantly with the database being fully online. There is no downtime when the scaling operations occur. Customers can shut off idle compute to save money and uh, they can restart instantly whenever they need to access the database service. Customers can also enable auto scaling to allow autonomous database to use more CPU and IO resources automatically when the workload requires it. Autonomous database service supports the existing tools which are running on premises or in the cloud. And these tools can range from third party business intelligence tools, third party data integration tools, or Oracle business intelligence and data integration tools like BIEE, ODI, etc. This service also supports analytics cloud service, golden gate cloud service, integration cloud service, and others. Customers can connect to autonomous database service via SQLnet, JDBC, and ODBC. This slide shows the architecture of autonomous data warehouse. As you can see here, at the heart of the service, you have the autonomous database which, which can be managed using a service console and it has built-in query and application development tools like machine learning, SQL developer, web access. It has Oracle Application Express for customers who want to deploy Apex applications and it also supports REST data services. As far as data loading goes, customers can copy files into object storage cloud service and they can load data files uh, by using APIs into the uh, autonomous database service. And on the left here, you'll see uh, that 
Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse supports SQL Developer for uh, developers and uh, it also has data integration services support for Oracle Data Integrator Platform Cloud and also third-party data integration services which runs on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or on-premises and this service also supports business intelligence services like Oracle Analytics Cloud, Oracle Data Visualization Desktop and any third-party business intelligence tools running on cloud infrastructure or on-premises. Autonomous transaction processing architecture is pretty much similar. In addition to the services and functionality that we saw earlier in the previous slide, Autonomous Transaction Processing also has uh, support for developer services, namely Oracle Java Cloud Service, Developer Cloud Service, Oracle Container Clusters or OKE and the Registry Service. This concludes the lesson. Thanks for watching.